Hey, welcome back to WBJU. My name is Katie Jackson. We have two stories for you this week. First, CJ Bilyeu got to talk with our own professor, John Nolan, about some of his extracurricular activities. John Nolan is a professor of studio art here at Bob Jones University. And when he's not sharing his first love of art with his students, he's sharing his second love, the city of Greenville, through his history tours. I have a walking tour uh, of the west end of Greenville, and that's what I've done since day one. Someone will learn about Greenville from its pioneer days, going through the textile era, through the revitalization period of the last 30 to 40 years, and um, also not just historical stuff, but also what, what's going on now. The city of Greenville has developed a booming food scene, so he has recently added some culinary tours. I was up in New York City while working for the museum on a business trip, and I was looking for stuff to do up there, and they had all these food tours, and I was like, wow, I've never heard of this. <laughs> so I took one and had a fantastic time, and it was like, we need to do that here in Greenville. For more information or to book a tour of your own, go to www.greenvillehistorytours.com. For WBJU, I'm CJ Bilyeu. Up next, Brooke Smith has a heartwarming story about one of our international students and some of the challenges she's had to face. Helen Wallen was only a baby when she was left in a field to die. I was picked up by a, like a priest and he took me in. They told Father Lee to kill the babies, which is basically killing me. Because for us in China, we can't have anything to offer to that country. That's what they think, but they are wrong. Despite her disability of spina bifida, Helen remained hopeful and trusting that God would provide. And then while I was in the orphanage, there one missionary, he decided to take me into his house. And he asked me, he said, Helen, what do you want the most? I said, I want a family because I don't know what a family feels like. And then 2010, I was adopted. And then now I'm at Bob Jones University and to study and make friends. And making friends is not hard with Helen's bubbly personality and her service dog, Bonnie. This is my service dog. Bonnie helps Helen to do everyday tasks like pick up objects and open doors. But on top of all these things, Bonnie is a best friend. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of WBJU. Be sure to tune in next week for more great content.